Hi, my name's Nicole. I graduate the women's ministry here in a couple of days. And I just wanted to share some things, uh, what brought me in here, what the Lord has done since I've been to the ministry and what he continues to do in my life. In 2019, things got crazy. Um, children's services ended up getting called. My husband um, had lost his job and it was just me. So I was trying to hold everything together um, in the midst of being an alcoholic. Um, my mind, I was, I honestly felt like I was losing my mind. My kids were slipping away from me. And like I said, children's services had been called. So I started, you know, calling off work and um, eventually I got fired from a job that I absolutely loved. I had been um, at this office for eight years and I had adored it. Um, I loved what I did and um, they eventually let me go. So um, my husband ended up coming into the refuge at the beginning of October. And uh, a week later, um, I signed over temporary custody to my girls. And October 28th, I decided to come in as well. Um, that's a day I'll never forget. I was terrified. I was timid. Um, lacked any kind of confidence that I even had then, lacked, lacked at all. Um, but I knew that I had to do something. So, um, I just, I decided to start, uh, then. So, um, within that first week, I rededicated my life to Christ and wanted to change. I was ready to come in here and change, um, with that being said, I was very scared and cried all the time. Um, I was scared for my kids. I didn't know what was going on. Um, I had a house to take care of. I just, there was a lot going on at the time and I, I had to completely trust God. March uh, 2nd, my husband ended up leaving the ministry. Uh, so I had, um, a big decision to make. And March 3rd, uh, my director came to me and said, you know, we need to know by four o'clock today what, what you're going to do. Uh, I decided to leave. I decided to pack my things. And um, I was in the middle of packing. And the Lord was like, Nicole, don't do it. Don't do it trust me. And I came back downstairs and told her uh, I wanted to stay. That was the hardest decision I have made. And I honestly, though, felt like there was strings attached to me. The Holy Spirit was like holding me from the inside, not letting me go. Um, that's honestly how I feel. Like, how the Lord has us in his hands and we cannot be removed. We cannot be plucked out. And that's how I felt that day. It was, it was real to me. And, um, through that act of obedience, my life has changed tremendously for the best. <laughs> The Lord now is actually in his rightful place. Now I can depend on the Lord 100%. He is first running, then my husband, then my kids. He is right where he needs to be. And I trust that he will put everything into place. And I've been able to depend on the Lord and really uh, put all of my faith into him and let him guide me. Um, and with that being said, you know, I started off seeing my girls one hour a month. Um, then that led to a few hours a month. Um, and then now I'm in fourth phase and I'm able to see them as much as I want. It's so cool. So I just uh, want to give thanks to God and all of that. Like it is just mind blowing and a hundred percent him, hundred percent. Um, through my obedience, he has been completely faithful and I want to make sure that he continues to be number one in my life. He's the only one I can depend on. He is the only unfailing one. Since I've been here, the Lord has completely, um, restored my confidence, my self-esteem. 
Um, man, one of my favorite scriptures is she is clothed in dignity and strength and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. And that scripture is very dear to me. And the Lord has clothed me in that. He has restored my heart. And he loves me more than I can ever imagine or want any man to love me or want my kids to love me. And because he loves me so much, I am able to be clothed and to be able to walk in confidence and have this so that I can, you know, be the mother, be the leader of my home, be the leader of my family. And that's all because of God. So um, with me getting ready to complete, oh my goodness, I have had a few different job opportunities and the Lord has provided um, me with being able to sell my home that I live in. But in return, he has also blessed me with an apartment, um, a vehicle, and this is all lined up and this is all because of obedience and trust. And I give him all the glory and I know 100% that I am loved by him and I can do all things with him because he lives inside of me. I believe that 100%. And so I really hope that anybody that has seen this testimony um, knows that God is real and that he can change lives, that he can give you hope and help you dream again. Um, he is the only way. And I am so blessed for the refuge and that for this opportunity to come in here. At first, it doesn't feel like an opportunity. At first, it feels very difficult. And like you are just coming in here, um, not knowing where to turn. Uh, I can't believe it's 13 months. And um, I can honestly say thank you so much to The Refuge and to Tom and John and Thompson for everything that they have done and created. And I am just so thankful to go and be a mom again and that I um, get this chance to be with my kids and they can see how strong their mom is and what she can overcome as long as the Lord is number one in her life. So thank you. I give all thanks to him.